breaking news. The Mavericks have finalized a trade for Rondo to... Um, I'm sorry, yeah, from Boston Celtics to the Mavericks. And this is huge because, yeah, they're giving up absolutely nothing, it doesn't seem like, to get him. Um, Celtics are sending all-star point guard and forward Dwight Powell to Dallas for Brandon Wright, Jay Crowder, and Jameer Nelson and draft picks. And then there's also going to, looks like there's a 12.9 million trade exemption in there as well. So that's huge. That kind of shifts the power in the West because that was the one thing if you had to look at the Mavericks roster, they didn't have that amazing point guard. I mean, J.J. Barea is a good, solid point guard, but he is more of a off-the-bench, gives you a little bit more energy coming off the bench. But now they have that floor general. What do you think this is going to do to the Mavericks, Lucas or Brendan, whichever one of you want to go it's, for it? It's going to skyrocket their uh... – <laughs> It's going to definitely put them high into the contention for even honestly they could they could they could battle for the the number one spot in the uh, in the West. It's a possibility as long as Rondo can, you know, perform and just really honestly dish the ball. He doesn't have to do a lot of scoring. They don't have to rely on him for that because they already have great scores between Monte Ellis and Nowitzki. So um, and even Chandler Parsons. But if Rondo can just do his job and just dish the ball like he's been doing his whole entire career they can make strong contention to be the top seed in that conference. Yeah, I mean, they really have that floor general that they've been lacking since Steve Nash left there. Mm -hmm. um, I guess you could say Jason Kidd was there after Steve Nash, so they still had a floor general. I'll take that back now. But uh, since since he left, yeah, since Jason Kidd left, they haven't had that floor general. And they had Jason Kidd when they won their championship. And, and with all those pieces, it's really, you need a maestro to organize the orchestra. Okay, it's your turn. Here you go. Oh, now it's you. Bring you in there. And you got to have somebody kind of organizing it all. Um, now, what does that do for the East? I think the Celtics sucked anyway, so nothing. Mm. No. It doesn't help their chances regardless. Yeah, well, now, I do have one little problem with this, though. I'm tired of seeing these teams, like, suck for a higher chance of getting a draft pick. Like, you look at the 76ers. They have they pretty much come out and said, we don't want to win a game. So if we win a game, you just really suck. What do you think, Brendan? Should teams be allowed to do that? Tank for, yeah. for a higher pick? Yeah. What, what really? are you going to do to stop them? I'm say you Why must would you play... stop them? What happened in the Olympics? They sanctioned some of those badminton players who tanked on purpose because they didn't want to <laughs> play better players. That, it's just part of the game, man. Like, who can tank the best? Do they deserve like, to give refunds to their fans who pay for those garbage games? No, but they should come out and tell the fans ahead of time, hey, we're just going to tank this season. And that way they don't have to try. Like, they don't have to go. <laughs> Yeah, all right, it sucks anyway, but yeah. So, all right, so we're about to see some big things happening in the West. Rajon Rondo going to the Mavericks. That is going to be huge. Let us know what you think about this trade. Um, like, I kind of agree with Lucas. This is going to propel them towards the top, too, whereas right now they were middling around the four or five spots. They're really going to jump up into that upper echelon. So hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Watch My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways to get in hold of us. But that is our...